Yes. Welcome. 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 It Why is you... the Roscoe's viewing party of yes. RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 9, baby. Let's get into it. I'm going to yes. sit here for a second. You ladies want to have a seat? Oh, you came to brunch? Thank you so much. You were. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. How are you? If you have not subscribed, go ahead and push subscribe. If you are not a VIP member, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, go ahead and become a VIP member. Um, so, I'm sitting here because... Let's chat. We, we had a situation. You guys heard about the whole fiasco with the computers and the IT. Microsoft being IT. canceled. I, yeah, and then they said that they had, uh, we were hacked, and then it was an IT thing with Microsoft, yeah. and who the fuck knows. Um, but unfortunately, Thorgy Thor will not be with us today. Um, but she is on the screen. Say hello, every No, I'm just kidding. That's a lot. <laughs> no, um, she's not going to be with us. But we did uh, call one of our hometown girls. One of our good Judies. She's always down for a good time, right? Absolutely. And we absolutely love and adore her here. So please welcome our sister. We love her so much. The one and only Detox! Hi, surprise. Oh, now y'all want to make some noise. Hi, YouTube. Hi. It was me, I'm the hacker. That's yeah. why I dress like a hacker. <laughs> Listen. It makes sense, because she was at home, and all of a sudden, she's I wasn't working. at home. I was about to go get my hair done, which is why I'm not wearing a wig today. You're welcome. <laughs> Wait. That's your real hair, honey. But, but how... That's my real... <laughs> the shade. How lovely do you look, though? You look absolutely lovely. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> welcome back, Hi, Diva. how is everyone? It's been so long since I've been back here for a hard time. Hold on. Listen, we have had her three, three times. times this season. This and is her charity work. For the <laughs> new permanent judge or host or it, whatever it listen, is. It's a charity season, so here she is. Um, <laughs> we're just so... No, no, no I didn't mean... You, no, I... Oh. Nisha. <laughs> Na Nisha, this is my she one gets, listen, she weekend. I took this weekend off because it's my mother's birthday, you asshole. And listen... It's my only weekend off from like the be like the beginning of May until October. Oh, so listen! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> listen, we're so grateful. You'll get that there you're... one day. <laughs> we're so, we're so. <laughs> this tried it. We're so happy that we're so happy that you're here. Seriously. I'm happy to be home. It's so beautiful out too. I can't wait to stay it's inside gorgeous. all weekend doing nothing. <laughs> It's absolutely gorgeous. But um, have you been, besides the times that you've been here, yeah. have you been watching this season? I am. I mean, of course, because Roxy's on. So, oh, of course, oh, I'm like absolutely. catching up on it. Um, and I still, I haven't watched uh, today's episode yet. So, this will be my first time watching Neither it. Neither have I. So did, you, did you no. peek? You guys didn't mm -mm. peek. You didn't no. cheat. Has anyone here peeked or cheated? No. Gorgeous. Liars. You're liars. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> Are you <laughs> liars. Uh, I live. Well, are you ready to get into it? Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. Wait, are these Wait. all no-shows? Can I invite my friend to come hang out with us? Where's your friend? Don't worry. I'll just text Where's, them. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. He, your friend can sit right here. You can sit right, right. here. Ah, you're still there. <laughs> always. Be shoulders be shoulders. Always wants a little kai kai. Girl, I start going to the gym, and this thing starts calling me every now and so then. How now. you been, uh -huh. sis? I ain't seen you Before, in a week, I used sis. to call her. I, she won't pick up the phone. Now she picks up the phone. She's oh, like, hey, what's baby, up, boo? What's up, boo? She calls, don't How even you doing, call me Nisha anymore. Anyway, um, are y'all ready for this shindig to get started? Yes? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Um, I... I love this challenge, or this mini challenge, because when you're on set, and Detox, I'm sure you're witness to this, the PAs love it, and some of them are gay and want to get in drag so bad. So bad. They're, like, itching for it. <laughs> Sniffing our panties when we're not looking. <laughs> Trying on our hair without asking. I scream because Kristen, who's the sound girl, she was, um, she was on season five. She's like one of the only ones that I recognize from, from like my season and she's still there and she still loves it and it's amazing to see her still be there because it was I think one of her first times um, doing Drag Race. I think that was her first season as well. And, so, and she was so sweet and we still keep in touch with each other and um, I always loved 
her, and I can't remember her partner in crime's name, but that's so, I got excited to see my the little Kristen up there. The she one looks that's just the same. That <laughs> <laughs> the one that's paired with uh, George's, I think his name is Justin, if yeah. I get it wrong. I'm Justin's so the guy who always yeah. comes in and is like, oh, I got to take away the special guest yes, roles. I'm one. sorry. Yes, oh. that's the one, him. He, I don't he's, know I know him. he's gay and he has a boyfriend and he's, well, you know. he's awesome. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> We're aware. He, he, uh, what's really cool about the PA is when we did All Stars 8 and we did the, um, that game, the fame game thing with the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, with, that thing that y'all did. Yeah, yeah, yeah that thing, that runway. All, all, all the PAs, like, they're like, oh, they're going to do fame games. So all the PAs and everyone would come and, like, cheer you on, oh, you know, to ha- kind of so hype cute. you up because you're. I mean, you're doing it, but you've been eliminated, so you're like, this sh-. like, I was hoping it. to see Sarge back up there, but I know he already did that. That would yeah, make sense. Yeah. Yeah. He's still there, yeah, Sarge? Yeah, he's still there. Oh, he, my he, yeah. Sarge was my f- baby. Yeah. I love Sarge. Yeah, no, I love him. And I love when he got up and gig, oh and then he came God. for the roast. They won that, that one, didn't they? Was Sarge I, one of the winners? Did? I can't remember. No. It's been a while. No. Um, <laughs> Detox, Are, you've had the pleasure of doing two makeovers. Yeah, the vet- I don't know about the pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure was probably the second time around with your sister. Yeah, That one was great. Yeah. I had fun doing the first time around, too. It was just, I just remember the day being really, like, they had, they had jam-packed so much there that we really didn't have much time to even do the makeovers. And I remember I was running way behind and had to, you know, we all had to paint ourselves. We had to paint them. We want to make sure they're feeling great and everything. But it was like we had to, then they threw on the, like, the curveball of the flag routine and, like, learning all this other bullshit and all this, other, like, uh, dumb, <laughs> dumb. And it was getting so close to the end and we were all just so worn out, like, mentally and physically that I just remember being like, <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. Clearly, that's why I was in the bottom. With that said, we're still on the same page. You're going to do All-Stars if they invite you, correct? I never said yes, but I do say I have an itch, so we'll see. It depends on my mood. I'm a Gemini. And if if you know anything about a Gemini, today it's yes, tomorrow's no, but she Uh will do it. She will do it. She'll do it. Yeah, I mean, there was a point where I was like, never again! But now that I have like an itch to do it, and then I'm like watching my friends do it, especially watching like um, a lot, uh, Ros- Roxy do it by herself. Like it's fun seeing, seeing you know, having a, you know everyone kind of equates us as being this whole threesome, which. You're- no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but before we jump back into it, what were your thoughts on Roxy getting her ninth lip sync win last week, baby? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I was just telling Nisha I was watching it on the plane because um, I was—I can't remember where I was traveling to, but I was traveling to somewhere for a gig when it was out, and I was just sobbing on the plane, like so proud of her. I'm gonna cry right now talking about her, but like just so proud and so enamored with her, and she's such a star, and it's so great for me to be a friend of hers for 20 something odd years, um, and a huge fan of hers as well, and going through this experience together to finally see like the world catch up to like being like this is no she's like the best drag queen in the world to me yeah. and and everyone is finally like on board with that being like oh I always knew she was great and I'm like no you didn't <laughs> you were mean to her because she was mean to Jinx <laughs> so it's mean. nice to <laughs> <laughs> you clocked that you clocked that tea? no but it's, so it's great for me to like to see her being so celebrated and to get so many flowers because I just love her so much and she's and it was such an emotional episode too like knowing knowing her and knowing her story and knowing how um, like she's not often one to kind of let her guard down and to show vulnerability and show her true emotions you know that and to, to, to like see her like open up so much more on this season and to be even more like blossoming has been such a beautiful thing for me as a, a dear friend of hers to witness and I'm so proud of her I love it and not one dip, not one split, not one. It was drag, and it was so good. That, I need to hear what was. Or what, it was I need yeah. to hear. Oh my god! And then like also just knowing like how much that meant to her. Like we were yeah. talking about it before it aired, and she was like, just because I was catching up and like crying and like you know texting with her as we do, and she's like, oh mama, just wait, just just wait, baby. <laughs> Oh, the doll's gonna get you next week, mama. 
I love when Detox does impersonations because it's always that same it's voice. It's always that voice. It's it's never, it, always, it's it don't always, change for anybody. It's, it's always, always that Cass. same it's southern, like older, oh it's just my the God, same Mary, just voice. Wait, it's ooh. hilarious. I, I love it. <laughs> On that note, let's go back to the show. Okay, Dave. <laughs> oh, bring back my girls. <laughs> My favorite from that is, can somebody offer me their show? Was that Miss Thing? Yeah, because we do Girl, that. I love her. <laughs> she needs to host the damn show when yeah. Ruth's ready to leave. Because she's funny. That's supposed to be quick drag. I think that was longer than 30 minutes. But that baby, was... they, go, they gave them some time with that. How, how much time did they say they were going to get? 30. Well, they gave them too much. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. I'm like, are they over here getting backstories and shit? Talking about some bios. <laughs> Individual hair on the brow, girl. Come on. And why was Ro- let, 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 Roxy? I don't know. I haven't seen the final product yet. But why that brow was so up? That maybe she put that brow well, up. Well, <laughs> well I, I don't. I don't know the PA's name. Uh, but they looked in the mirror and they said, "That's me. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> he looked good. Well, you already looked surprised, baby." <laughs> Ladies, let me ask you this. What is the fastest you've had to get in drag? Today. No. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm not putting this back. Um, I've had to do it in like 20, 30 minutes for sure. Just like full, like full thing with delayed flights and, and whatever. I've had to do it on the plane a couple of times because yeah. of delayed flights, which is always interesting. I did. I, did. <laughs> I got in drag one time in a middle seat. Oh, on the that. plane, no. oh, opening the door, and opening the door midair. I, yeah, I was a middle I was, seat. I was going from um, Japan to Thailand, and I took out my little shaver, started shaving. <laughs> I took out the little compact. I start setting up, and these they're two, used to seeing that on flights yeah, to Thailand, they, though, they, baby. These two men next to me are just like, "What the." F- is going on <laughs> like what is going? On? And it's one of those things where they're uncomfortable, but they want to look. You know what I mean? So, so then you start, t- then you turn it up yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. for him. And so then, right, you start performing for him. You know, the gag was. When he had to get up to use the bathroom. I had long hair at the time. I had extensions in, all the madness, right? So <laughs> as I'm getting Newly ready, miss. I literally took, yeah, boots. <laughs> I literally took the hair down. Oh. Oh. And all of a sudden I'm ready, I get off the plane and I'm in full drag going to Thailand. I'm like, yeah, that's what I did. That's what were you doing in Thailand? Um, working? I was going for that uh oh, Miss International, International Queen. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. That was like it was like two thousand nine or something like that. It yeah. like years ago. But it was just like they told me they're like, When you get off the plane, there's a bunch of press, so be fully like done. But, you know, going to, it's like a 17-hour flight, and then it's another 11-hour flight. So I just had all my extensions put in, but no makeup, so I had to get ready yeah. on the plane. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Well, yeah. Walked daytime in, Debbie. Walked in trade, walked out. Well, trades are... Uh, At that trades time, is, I don't know, I don't know if it was trade, trade that time. From back, <laughs> then, from back then, baby. Trades is trade. Yeah, I've never no. seen her back then. Trades yeah, yeah, back then it was a trade. Now. So now it's a little now different. Now it could be you know, a little different. There's an different. arm there now. But now it's make sure you yeah. catch him <laughs> Labor Day nice. weekend vying for the prestigious title of Mr. Mr. Continental, Continental. <laughs> I live I live um, um, I was gonna say I'll tell you in your ear secretly but anyway um, are we ready to go back to the show yes should we go back alright yeah. let's, let's yeah, see let's see it. <laughs> hey who was y'all's favorite out of the makeovers. Uh, out of the, yeah, makeovers. Who, who, who do y'all really like? Justine and Got Moss. They were funny for me. Yeah. yeah I Got Moss them. was cute. Justine was really cute. Yeah. Um, Justine was hilarious. Tuna. Let's be real. Mm. She was She was the real one. She, she might have looked a mess, but damn, she was fun to watch. Justine's one of those that I feel like right now she's hosting a viewing party. Oh, 100 oh, yeah, Y'all have to watch. I have an episode. One hun- she's on <laughs> like, Facebook. Very that. She's on Instagram Live. I almost yeah. said Facebook. I'm almost dating myself. Yeah. She's on Instagram Live or uh-huh. TikTok Live or whatever the fuck you kids use these days. Oh, I have totally. no idea. I'm an old lady. She uh, sent everyone invitations to the viewing party. <laughs> Has a booth at DragCon. She's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% she's got a booth at DragCon yeah. right now. Talk she's 100% screaming. is at DragCon right now holding court. She's like, booth 1937. Yeah. 
Come Very see dark. me. We're on Colby. Colby Corner. Colby Lane. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love, love, love. I love that... Um, she, she said she's a Colby. Uh-huh. Yeah, she like, said, I don't care about the first name. I you know girl, you know Carrie and Sasha be giving Colby out like it's, like it's yeah. a Tic Tac yeah. brunch or whatever. I, just, you know, I feel like it's Carrie. Like Carrie just be like, you're uh-huh. a Colby and you're a Colby and you're a Colby and you're like that. And then <laughs> Sasha's over here like, what the f*** is going on? <laughs> Like, Sasha should be the same way. Uh, d- does she? Uh, we were just Wait. in Seattle Pride together, and um, we we got to spend a bunch of time together. And I kept meeting people. I'm a Colby now, and I was like, oh, <laughs> it's in the water. There's a few queens like that that are very like, yeah, that's my daughter, and yeah. that's my daughter, and yeah, they have I had so my many daughters. Said, Do you have kids? I um I gave them away. <laughs> When I you flush, I I literally gave them away. <laughs> um, I just Makes don't. Sense. I just don't deal anymore. Um, it's one of, and you know what it is is that once you have a kid, and then you're like, this is really what I got. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't and, return it. You and can't then return it. You can't do shit about it, right? You're like, they're gonna carry my name, and they're gonna that's my ruin other kind of thing. And then name So no, I'm, I am not going to. Um, Name them because she. <laughs> oh, detox! Don't you have a couple running around here in Chicago? She does. In Chicago? In she Chicago? does. <laughs> she has quite a few, actually. I don't have a few. Hold on, I'm chewing. How dare you ask me? I've got a ball in my mouth. Oh my God. Agreed. Agreed. Love. I that. think. I think it was. Also, uh, by the way, what? have you tried? <laughs> The buffalo. Wait, no it's way. a new one. Have you? Tried, it's new. <laughs> Have you tried the Miss Honeys? Oh, the, the these are. That's my yeah. first time trying. That might be my new thing. But you do see that I do have her, her mac and cheese bites with buffalo sauce. YouTube. Always, every. I'm gonna eat when I'm gonna eat. Every single time, never fails. Um, I have a couple of kids running around here. Do my you? main, my mean, my main daughter is Vicky Vox, and she's Vicky like the, the one that I, I claim the most. Yeah, and she's the one I kind of birthed, and then um, even though she birthed herself, yeah. <laughs> and then I have a few little like you know, yeah, little kids who run around who I yeah. know. You know, my daughter, that's Toto, I, Johnny. Yeah, who else? See, okay. and then there's some that be like. Oh yeah, detox is my mom. I'm like, oh okay, and then they're like, oh uh, this one is my mom, and I'm like, but you told me that one was your like which Ooh, one? Who you like, gotta name them? Because I don't know them. There's a few of them that be like, they got like three. Who different out there mothers. lying? Speaking of moms, your mom is here. My mom is here. Yeah, where'd she my, go? She's hi, right there. Hi, hi, Mama hi. Lopez. That's oh my, my God, mom Mama right Lopez. there. <laughs> She's hi, here Mama with Lopez. with my. Uh, family, uh, my cousins are here too. Brianna and Bailey, they're here too. Um, we got seats for them. Up. Can they take? Yeah, them? yeah. Your seats are all the way over there. If you want to walk across, go on ahead and cross the stage, Mama. <laughs> and they call her mother. All Let's right, go. all over there. Oh, hey y'all, how y'all okay. doing? Oh, <laughs> oh damn! So many mothers. Um, I love this oh, nation. Detox, yes. calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Be another mother tonight. <laughs> but okay, um, let's go back to this so yeah. and see how this turns out, yeah? Sure. Yes. All right, love it. Wow. So this episode for Rue had to be exhausting. <laughs> she must have been like, this took so much out of me. My God. She complimented all those girls. I know for a second she has, can I get a minute after this one, please? <laughs> That was, I told this she should. I, I, love, I love you. What's your name again? Wow. I love you. I love you. And then she went away, and then she's like, okay. Bring it in the uh, Narcan. Just. <laughs> I can see production. There's just two more, Rue. There's just two more. I promise. Me, every time you say we have another yeah. commercial break, I'm like, end it now. <laughs> uh, Q and A is at the end of the show. Oh, we got you, baby. <laughs> I didn't. But mean yes, that, the I mac and cheese no, no, bites I, I, with the buffalo I sauce are sickening. In, I didn't mean that in a shady way. But at it the is. end of the show, we do. We just. Oh. The, she, he wants a piece. She's taking. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm just trying to work. <laughs> Her mom is here. My she, mom is here. Stop that. 
that. Don't be doing that. <laughs> Stop. Oh, he's trying to be your mama. Stop. Um, okay. Oh, you think you're the same <laughs> that's here every week I'm here. <laughs> Causing a storm and, and, and hooting and hollering back there. No, that's a different there. one. That's a different one. Really? Oh, yeah. okay. Well, welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, to take it back to the episode, this was a little emotional. Um, it, sure. Oh, uh, thanks for bringing us down. No, you don't think yeah. so? <laughs> no, it is. And, it is emotional because everyone, you know, yeah. it's 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 emotional for the girls. Like, do you, like, I mean, when when you're there and you're talking to Rue, and like, so many of us have this history with Rue. That we all feel that way, like oh my god, like you've ch- she changed our lives in so many ways, and so it, it is. A, it's emotional. It's stressful. Um, it's also very rewarding when you hear her say all of those inspirational things and telling you to believe yourself, even if she has like an in ear telling her who they are. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> um, and that was a really like sweet and sincere moment just now with Chanel. And plastique, like, yeah. like there were like, I, I know she, um, as like the the like interview was saying, like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do this, but I felt a little doubt in her, and that's why I felt like having her that conversation with her and Chanel, I felt I, it seemed like she was doubting herself, and that's why she was getting emotional, and like as a viewer, that's what I saw, so um, I hope she can snap out of that for yeah. our, for what we have coming up in store. Karen, I had noticed that um, plastique. And Roxy and Gottmik didn't have an interview yet, so maybe that's coming up. Hopefully, oh, oh, hopefully. I'm sh- yeah, okay. I'm sure it's probably. We noticed well, that also because Gottmik they showed her rehearsal. she did a rehearsal, right. so maybe they do one or the other. You know, sometimes they'll yeah. show like groups of rehearsals, groups right, of this. Right, right. Yeah. I I do think that we're gonna. I'm, I'm hoping that we yeah. see an interview for everyone. Yeah, I hope so. Um, especially since it's a two-part finale. So maybe we'll see some of them this week, and then next week we might see another. I don't know. but I'm just, like, guessing or whatever. But my favorite thing was um, when um, <laughs> Chanel is just, like, bawling and just, like, thank you. She can barely get it out. And RuPaul is just, like... I can almost guarantee she was probably the last one of the day. Of the day. <laughs> and she just could not take it anymore. And she's like, if another p- cries, <laughs> like, I, it was giving that energy. But who knows? <laughs> who, who knows? How that, but did you guys see that? The, yeah. It do was you, it's so Do good. you happen to know how long about those Tic Tac lunches are? Is it just like a quick little five minutes? And did then you have out? a Tic Tac moment with her? We did um, said, during all. Tic Tac. I said <laughs> Tic Tac. We ah, yeah, we invented bitch. TikTok. No, no, tic-tac <laughs> moment with her. <laughs> Work. The most she's ever moved, I swear. So where to God, it's true. And with food in my mouth. Yeah. Um, no, we did, um, we did like the podcast. The oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And, and Michelle really. was there, right? Was it mm-hmm. with Michelle too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... That, I feel like Michelle makes And Rue is in drag, baby, and she right. smelled good? Oh, my God. She must have been feeling a certain kind of way to be in drag, uh-huh. right? Yeah. It's I was like, on an off day, yeah. you're in drag? Work. <laughs> and Michelle, she, she makes you feel super comfortable, I feel like, when, when she partakes in that. Because she, even if Rue does see your, let's say, Instagram or that, she don't comment. She don't say, like, none of that. But Michelle... Like, she'll comment, or if you see her, she's like, oh, I saw you were in, you know, Pennsylvania. You were here. You were there. And, like, how was that? And, and so that's mother. Yeah, she exactly. keeps up with yeah. them past the show. Exactly. So she makes you feel a little more, like, comfortable about it. You know what I mean? Not as intimidating. And someone, you know, back in the day, um, like, you know, years ago, when we were doing Battle of the Seasons and, um, and uh, Work the World and all those yeah. things, yeah. she was, like, the host of a lot of those shows. So a lot of us got to be really, really close with her traveling the world and being with her so it's always fun especially for her I know she loves all stars because it is like you know a homecoming with all of her little babies that she's been able to get so close with and she's very involved in and the majority of what everyone's got going on which I always appreciate it was when I did uh what you pack it when I did what you pack in with Michelle and it was very like here's my number and like and it's that that you're like wait really so then you're like, okay, this is different level. I feel like this is genuine and it's real. So uh, kudos to Michelle. I absolutely love Michelle. We Michelle. love you, Michelle. Yes, we, love, we love Michelle. And I mean, we love RuPaul too. We love you, Ru. But, <laughs> Nisha. No, no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. I absolutely love and adore her. No, I really do. I really do. No, I really do for real. Like, 
like, I really do. Um, but with that said, should we go right back to the show? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go back and see. Okay, we have so much. About. That's a lot. Yes, <laughs> we where, have. Where, we where have a lot. Start? Let's, where do we let's start? start with um, the very touching, the very heartbreaking. Tic-tacs. Uh, tic-tac tic-tac. Okay, yeah. with plastic. We want to be clear. Um, what plastic said was valid. We were not laughing at her because that'd be insensitive. But we were laughing at RuPaul's face. That's right. what we were laughing. Oh, at. she's so uninterested. Oh, she just absolutely. Looks so can, you, can you do your RuPaul uh, for the people at home who are watching this? What'd the, you say? The, the the ones that just missed it. Can you do your RuPaul just now for? For the YouTube. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I think think my battery is low, so we we might need a new battery. Good. Um, Okay, so let's talk about that really quick. Um, (laughs) If you noticed, she was just shaking her head yes, right? Just doing this. And then real low, she said, all all Vietnam is proud of you. (laughs) <laughs> but did you hear her say it really low? I feel like she was, was trying to make herself cry because I saw her eyes watering. Uh, uh, Rue? Rue. Rue, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I so, feel like she was trying to put me like, oh, yeah. the dog that died back yeah. in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I will, I will say this, and I, and I want you all she to tell me... She wants that Emmy again, if baby. You, she wants that Emmy! Right. If you agree, in, in the line of work that we do, that we have chosen to do, when anyone tells you, I am proud of you, that really means something. It absolutely. Absolutely. Does. Yeah. Doesn't ma- whether they're lying. Any whatever, walk really of life, anytime something. you hear yeah, somebody who absolutely. you respect and admire say that they're proud of you, it's a huge reward. Well, because, it, and, and, I'm, and this is just, I'm using this as an example. You, you become a doctor, you go to medical school, you become a lawyer, you go to law school, you put all this, and it's easy for someone to say, wow, I'm really proud of you. You really put in all that work. But for us, you dismiss that because we're artists. And that's why it means so much more to us. Because it, this is who we are. That we are. It's our artistry. It's, it's what we feel. It's what we think of. It's our creative. Uh, not anybody else. So it, it really does mean so much more than you know anybody else just saying, yeah, yeah, you went to law school. Great. Yeah, okay, fine. That's great. But. <laughs> so you hate lawyers. <laughs> any lawyers in the, any doctors in the house? Okay, we're uh, there's good. A lawyer doctor. or a doctor? There's a doctor. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Mother. My what God. field? Oh. I, I don't even know what that is. It's what do neo- you say? Like neonatology? Like oh, yeah, that. Okay. Babies. What is yeah, it? babies. Babies. Got it. Yes, yeah, small. Infants. An accountant. <laughs> You're great with numbers. Thank you <laughs> for that. I'm so proud of you. You can count. <laughs> Does anybody else want to tell us what they do? Yeah. <laughs> anybody else so we can roast you? Dan, Dan, okay, Dan, wait, wait. We, we still have so much. We still oh, have. you have a, a job. We still have, we, still, <laughs> we still have so much to talk about. Okay, so that happens. After that, what were we going to talk about? Um, let's talk about the twist. Should we talk about the twist? Girl! Okay. The lipstick. You could did, just, you see, did you see Roxy just biting the inside of her lip? She's pissed. She's so mad. She thought she There's had a pool it. of so blood mad. coming out of the side yeah. of her mouth. She's yeah. trying to figure out how to count to, to see how many badges she has. Yeah, she's like, can anybody actually beat me right now? Yeah, yeah. I would be so upset if Florida I was education her. jumped. So just, just to be clear, they're going to vote and only one person is going to have their badges doubled. doubled. Yeah. But there's still a challenge to win, right? But they're casting two votes right? each. Is that what it is? It's two votes each? Is that no, only one person one? gets yeah. doubled. They can't vote for themselves. And they right. can't vote for themselves, correct. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. And they okay. also still have the last challenge, right? Yes. Right. yes. And you get how many for that? You're Top not gonna two find get, out three. get three. You get three. And so you're not going to find out who until next the, week. D- the double Got diamonds. it. Until after the finale. So, because this is what I'm trying to think. Roxy has five. Yes. So if Roxy doesn't get the three or the double, if is Roxy's she still not in the finale, in, I'm a fing riot. Roxy I will, will say. still be in. So. The best thing... Baby, I'm going... I'm walking to World of Wonder. Yeah. <laughs> so listen, the best thing to do... Wouldn't the best thing to do, since she's already got it, is to vote for Roxy, right? Yeah, that way... Because she's, she's going to be in it. That way, So you yeah. don't want to give it to somebody else it's, to cut... Do you get what I'm saying? Because that gives them the opportunity to go over you. No, that's but, math. Right? That's math, yeah. But Roxy already has that. So give it to her. 
Just thinking strategically. Yeah, very smart because you don't want to ha- give someone else the advantage. Exactly. That's what She's already do. in the three, right? I don't know everybody else's. I just know Roxy's because I'm Team Roxy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so listen. Okay, so let's figure out like if you were um, who who's got the lowest amount of, of badges? Vanji, Vanji, Nina, Mick, and, and Nina. Mick, all with two. Chanel, Chanel has three. Chanel's though. got three. Yeah. So they. So. Sh- so they. <laughs> Chanel's <laughs> winning. Let me introduce you to our fourth co-host. co-host. Our fourth co-host. Ma- Mary on a hit. Thorgy, get up here, baby. Come on, Thorgy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you that's stop. gotcha, baby. <laughs> okay, no, um, okay, so I thought Vanjie was here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> the voice is, the voice is right. The voice is right. So you're saying they should give it to someone with two badges? Right, right. No, no, no. no. It could be. So you so would, vote for the girls yes, who have the lowest, the lowest amount, and then amount. vote for the ones who have the highest Correct. amount. Correct. So then, I mean, they're going to be good regardless. Yeah, I think they're going to vote for their friends at this time. You vote for me, I'll vote for you, yeah. baby. I. I got a GED, honey. I don't do no matter. <laughs> I have someone who does my taxes. I have someone who does... I have my niece counts my money when I get home. <laughs> which is probably why she has a new manicure every week. That She's taking her the cup. Putting the cameras in the house. She's taking her cup, boo, as she should, counting all that coin. Um, okay, so they still have the challenge and they, they have this new twist. Um, I, I would, how would you uh, vote? I would vote, like I said. I would. KMS. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what? I've had it. This is fine. It is. Yeah, I'm it out. It is what it is, I'm Santa. out. I'm out. Yeah. But, no. Also, I do want to I, I touch on this because we've, every time either she's on screen or doing a runway or this, with, with Nina West, right? And her, you see, Shh. you guys what laugh. And see? I want to tell, and that's the problem. That's the problem. You, two things can be true. You can be a fierce drag queen, and you can be bad at drag race. Those two things can be true. And Nina West is sickening. Nina West is a great person. But listen, so she had a bad season. Who cares? But stop defining her drag by this performance on this season, please. I'm kind of getting sick of it because she deserves so much better than that. Uh, we talked about her chari- charitable work. Yeah, she's amazing. It's she's incredible. Something and everyone knows about it. It's something yeah, that she's like. It's no defined her career, and it's been something that she's been doing for the twenty something odd years that she's been doing drag. It's always been a, a community driven, give back to the world, and mainly, especially her community in Columbus, where I mean, she's got like a, an avenue and whatever name yeah, for her. But street. the work that I mean, I've been working there for years before she was on Drag Race, and it's like she, the way that she's got her foot on the ground, doing there in order to give back to the community, f- organizing all kinds of fundraiser, her and Virginia both, it's really something amazing and awe-inspiring to see and to, to witness. Um, and the fact that she does it because she loves it is amazing, and not just because it's on a televised program. Absolutely, absolutely. And I mean, listen, we, we watch this and we talk and we laugh and it's a joke and this and that. But and we always, you know, we do we laugh at her stop. little like, you know what I mean? Yeah. We laugh at that because we're her <laughs> friends. And we, I can laugh at my friend doing <laughs> Looking like a cartoon character because it's funny. Okay. She's very creative. Yeah, yeah. She is. yeah. Okay, so uh, we did see. She is. <laughs> see, a bunch of people have stolen from her. What, 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 what? Are we going to wrap it up? Okay. <laughs> so listen, All right, commercial's over. No, we, we did see. We're going to do one more. Uh, we, we did see everyone rehearsing. Um, we did. Th- yep. Some of them uh, rehearsing. W- what were your thoughts? Did we think anyone might be in danger? <laughs> there was or? a couple of them. They were kind of like, just got, let me go back to my notes because I'm not sure. <laughs> but exactly. You know that you never can. Here's the thing. You never can judge it off of this because right. at this point, this is just entertainment purposes. This is just filler for the episode, right? Absolutely. We all know that. We all get that by now. You know at the end of the day, they're staying there for an extra five hours. They have the rehearsal studio the next day. They're like, that's what they, they probably do. probably rehearse for two days. That's what they do. They make that... What, we, you all right over there? You come. Drop your fork. Can we get a new fork over here for the... Can, can we get a new one? The salad or something with someone on? I don't know. Oh, he, oh, he's done. He's done. We were okay, all good. Okay, never mind. Done. Can we get he's someone done. to take these plates? Yeah. <laughs> I did love uh, Georges. Georges made a comment. She said, I'm not a choreographer. I'm a dancer. dancer. And it's so true. Doing choreography is a whole nother it level. It is. Yeah, Absolutely. Do you set. think that they already had these things choreographed and they're just like, I mean, I, at this point, I feel like this show is a 
Rough Bars. draft, yeah. To yeah. begin with, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like they've already had a lot of this stuff planned out. Ahead, they probably had a production call with each of the individuals to be and like, video oh, this is what I want to do, it. and this is what I'm going to showcase, and bleep, blop, bloop, and da 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 so, I mean... Yeah. Totally, but um, if you're watching, she still wants to be on All Stars. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Call her, please. Uh, no, please but... Uh, all, well, what, how else am I going to come here and judge people? I can't just judge yeah. myself every <laughs> week when you guys have somebody bail on you or there's a, a global a global hack or wow. some bull- Wow, Dita. Wow. Or Delta, yet another flight. You know who is a double diamond diva? Me, Delta! Yes! Word. Me! Uh, two million miler! If, if someone can take a clip of her in that little monologue and start putting it in the Instagram pages of the girls that cancel on us, because that's going to happen. It's going to happen. Oh, yeah. It's you just set us up. No, because then they'll get comfortable. With, oh, well, Dee's home. She'll Dee's be able to do it. Dee's going to take the That's so fierce. That's so fierce. Okay, we still have we still have to do untucked after this is over. So yeah, let's, let's jump go ahead and this. jump this right back to the episode. This whole episode has been untucked. <laughs> me. Ooh. All right, who 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 y'all rooting for? Give me some names. I heard plastic, plastic, plastic Roxy, Roxy, Roxy Got Mick, Got Mick, Roxy, Angeria. Roxy. Got Mick, very unpopular uh, opinion. But Damn. Sure. <laughs> Ooh. Um, so, sorry. The fashion got, was so right. Got Mick looks so sick, fierce, though, so in that sick the entire sorry. season, but I have a couple before Got Mick. Name them. Okay. Uh, Roxy. And Do you think Roxy? I think. Okay. Both of Nisha, I can't believe you let that My go on God. for that long. You were onto something, though. You clocked it. You said, put the one who has the most badges <laughs> yes. further ahead. Absolutely. And Absolutely. some of the other girls How many do that. we think voted for Rock? Okay, so we know for two, sure Plastic two for and sure. Two for, for sure. sure. I feel like there was somebody... I feel like somebody else did some, like, Roxy voting, too, no? Because we didn't see Angeria's or Vanjie's. No. Nope. No, or... Baby... <laughs> George, we saw Georges, right? Georges gave it to Plastique. Plastique. Yes. Microphones work in Chanel. Two, they, they, <laughs> microphones, you can speak into them and you cannot be full. <laughs> Nisha assaults patron at Roscoe's. <laughs> You're going to find on YouTube that I assault patron uh, at hey, Roscoe's. Hey. Josh. I love you. I love you too, Josh. You're not in your living room. Calm down, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, um, okay. Um, I don't know. It looks like it's going to be between maybe Roxy and Nina or possibly even Plastique. Possibly? Who do we think is going to be the top three? Roxy. Uh, <laughs> this? I oh, don't, I'm stressing. Uh, I listen, am waiting for I Nina. have... I thought you were going to take off an earring. No, no, no. I'm I taking, thought she We're going to get you a chair. Do we have a chair? I mean, I'll stand. Okay. I feel skinnier oh. standing. Okay, okay. Woo! Give it up for Thorgy Okay. We look cool. Mike. I'm happy. Welcome, Diva. Does that mean I can go home now? No, have Steve a seat. Bye. You better have a seat. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Thorgy. Okay, so there's a story. Can I tell stories? Yes, please. Okay. Oh my god, I have so many stories. How Do much tell. Time? Can we tell can us. we stay here till midnight? I have yes. so many stories. <laughs> you guys can. Tell us, tell us. <laughs> Thank you, D. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing? It's not. Oh, uh, it's Womanity. It is Womanity. I knew it. Yes! 
That was my signature fragrance when we first met. Well, now they used to. They uh, just continued. They just it. Yeah. You didn't see how quick they got Girl. sidetracked. Sorry. Right now. <laughs> I haven't seen Thorgy in ages, and we <laughs> love each other. <laughs> it Gemini. literally happened. Listen, can you tell us stories, please? Oh, well, today, like the whole world went crashing down yes. or something. Yes. You're and I didn't even know, so I was like getting ready for my flight in New York, and everyone's like, are you still going to Chicago? I'm like, yeah, why not? They're like, do you check your phone? Like the world exploded, and like all the banks crashed in China, and people are killing each other, and I'm like, well, how am I going to get Yay. to Roscoe's? You know? I was like, China what? Roscoe's, you know? Uh, so I went anyway, just being like, I'll figure it out when I get there, you know? Because I like to, I forgot to put nails and eyelashes on. Wait, so this is part no of the story. No one could tell. Who cares? I know, my eyes are always, <laughs> shut up. So I went to the airport, it was Armageddon. It was like 45 minutes of people screaming, what do you want me to do? My flight is canceled! Like yelling, and I was like, this is good drama. <laughs> And I was like, if I never make it to Roscoe's, this is a good show. This is a good show. So then I check into the flight, and they were like, yeah, we don't really know. So I go to the lounge. I'm just like hanging out, doing whatever. And then it was like postponed by four hours. So I was texting Sean. I was like, I don't know that I can do it. They called you. And then uh -huh. I somehow got here, and I got ready in like 45 minutes. It, All I thought, right. I, got, I did it, kind of. You look stunning. Yes. Wait, so I have another story. Can I tell a story? Absolutely. Yes, please. <laughs> so, the more stories you tell, the quicker I want to slowly slink out, though. So keep going. Keep going. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, okay. Don't touch me. Wait. Um, oh, yeah. So does everyone know Ellie Diamond? Yeah. Yes. No. Sure. Okay, apparently Ellie Diamond wanted to, like, date me and f*** me or something. And she, Oh, and this is, like, being streamed live, right? So Ellie... No, I'm... <laughs> No. When did you find this news out? Wait, no, this was like a while ago, a while ago. Because I never checked Twitter. I really don't give a shit, you know what I mean? I got the memo. Look at this color. Yeah, we're wearing pink for you. We because you. we know that we you wore, love pink We wore so pink much. because we know how much you love, love pink. Love pink. Love pink. Love pink. Love pink. Okay, wait, wait, Chuck. Stop. So stupid. So, um, so anyway, everyone's like, you don't see that she keeps tweeting you and being like, I want to date Thorgy, like tell Thorgy. And everyone's like, you need to get with Ellie. So I wrote back, I was like, you want to go on a date? Okay, I, you know, I don't care. So we went back and forth and back and forth and then we were being cheeky forever. And then Ellie, a while ago, had this sale. Like, you know, the girls, like they sell their and she's like, it's uh, live on my Instagram. If you want to buy anything, it's all these photos. And she posted this piece of crap that she made. Oh, she made from scratch. And, and I had... <laughs> <laughs> D, you know I give no I never do, I never have. What, are they going to eliminate me again? Well, I don't care. I'll move to Dublin with Ellie Diamond. <laughs> Wait, so I said we haven't talked in a while. Like, maybe I would get in with Ellie by buying a piece of her so I bought it. It was exuberantly expensive, but I was like, whatever. And the shipping was like $4,000 from, she's like, it's $4,000. And I paid her right away. And, and then like two months went by and I'm like, where's my garment that I bought, you thief? I thought you said garbage. <laughs> where's my garbage? You can keep it and you can forget about <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. So I, two months goes by. This is a good story. It has a good ending. My stories never have ending. Uh, okay. So I said, hey, girl, like, I'm just wondering, like, whatever. And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And didn't re even respond to me. The next day, she posted a picture of her wearing this at the club. No! Took my money two months ago and was still wearing it. And I post, I wrote on her, you can still find it. And I said, can I have my garbage garment, please? <laughs> and she's like, oh, And I'm like, you just stole from me. Now I really want to date her. This is, oh, oh, the nonstop drama that would happen. I'm like, you're a pathological thief. You're a thief. You're amazing. Let's go to Applebee's. Did I have that in Dublin? Anyway, so I got there and I'm wearing it and Ellie Diamond made this. You look great. You look great, babe. And I said Roscoe's is good because I know she'll see it and whatever, so. Anyway, I'm feeling cute. <laughs> well, you look lovely in your garbage garment. <laughs> Where's my garbage? Where's my garbage? I can't deal. 
Oh, okay. love pink. We're, <laughs> we're, we're going to go into Untucked, but before we do, before we do, we want to get your uh, opinion on this season. Have you been watching? Do you have a favorite? I know. It's... No, but like Roxy, I think Roxy's the way. And you know what? Every time you watch a show, it's like, oh God, I've said this every single season. I think every time I've been on the stage, I like fighting. I like fights and I like reality television. I want the real housewives with Teresa where they're like, you prostitution. I want that with reality television. Yeah. And all the girls like love each other and it's for charity. So you're not for it. You don't want Wait. it. So I love like they're all like, we love you. We Oh, girl, you gave me a, a, a Peter badge. Uh, I'm going to give you one. I'm like, yeah. what else is on? Simpsons. Oh, that's I good. love that she just mentioned. She's like, it's for charity. Like, it's well, the no, worst thing ever. Well, of course it's good. Yeah. Cause, but it's still a show. Yeah, that there's no stakes is the thing. You, you want there to be yeah. stakes. No yeah. one's getting like, You want there to be a little yeah. bit cutthroat, and you want someone to go home and all that. Yeah. Because you get angry, and you get really competitive, and when that comes out while you're filming cameras and exhausted, yeah. you get like... You get wild, yeah. Suspicious of everyone. Unpredictable. Wild, it just yeah. becomes unpredictable, and it's yeah. fun. It's fun to watch. Yeah. 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 So... Well, um, we're gonna do, Kelly we're gonna do Untucked, and we want to get through Untucked because today we definitely have to do Q and A. We want to talk to Thorgy and and get through all that. Um, so let's go ahead and go to not get uh, through. <laughs> get through. Right. Thanks that, a lot. You know Maybe I said get it. Get through the Q and A. Get her back upstairs. But love another. Untucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. girl. So I girl. Every <laughs> I had to fully admit I didn't watch a bit of that because Thorgy and I, I have been catching up the whole time. It's totally fine. It's totally I fine. See each other I because I'm that person at a movie too. Yeah. I'm like, Who's that? I don't like her sweater. Oh my god. No, it's cold in here. No, that, that's me. The whole movie. I'm horrible. It's totally fine because we're gonna ask you questions about stuff that's going on with you anyway. Uh, Thorgy is such a good. I like that somebody asked this question. Because you find some really cool stuff, this story, the way you found this online, and she finds some really cool things. There was one show we did at Hamburger Mary's. You remember when you took that one? It was the, it was like hanging there, and you just found out it was a third number, and you grabbed it. You oh yeah, the belt. I said, "Can I wear this?" Yeah, <laughs> she just. Came I up found it something. backstage. Yeah, yeah. And I said, Can I wear well, this? there's uh, there's this uh, Brie in Long Beach. Uh, uh, wanted to know where did you get those amazing shoes that you wore on the pit stop? Thank you. Nobody asked me about okay, those. Look at that. Well, Brie, Brie in Long Beach wants to know. Thank you, Brie. <laughs> I loved. Did you see them? They were like platform, like wood. They weighed thirty-five pounds, and they're horse. They're horse hair. They're like pony fur. So I was wearing lots of dead animals. I was wearing marabou. I was wearing turkey. I was wearing uh, ostrich and. She's not donating and to charity. And pony fur. I know. I was like, this is wrong, but like, these shoes are really cool. <laughs> anyway, they've been sitting in my closet forever, ever, ever. Uh, it was some designer who went like out of business who closed their shop. They were originally like $1,000 shoes, and they were on sale for like $170. And I went, I don't know when I'm wearing them. I don't care. Buy it. And then they got to my house, and I was like, oh, I can't walk in these. So I wore them on the pit stop because I was sitting the whole time. <laughs> But a uh, cooler story about that. So anyway, it was just a really... Com I have to look up the designer. Um, but uh, Iris Apfel uh, died uh, recently. Oh, my God. Did you, go, did you go to the auction, the sale? No. Or whatever it was? I hear about it. That and uh, Chloe Souvigny when she sold all of her stuff and uh -huh. there was like a line down the block. I missed both of these sales. Did you go? No. That's why I got so excited to see what you got. But anyway, so no, but I wore, I, I just love Iris so much. And Iris came out with a line of clothing and that was her vest that I was wearing. Yeah. That was the Iris thing. And then I wore the glasses and I wasn't gonna wear the glasses and Trixie was like, girl, wear the glasses. If you're gonna do Iris, go Iris all the way. So anyway, cool shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, piggybacking well, off the pit stop, um, Thorgy, you had a very viral moment with the I Love Pink. Um, one of our VIP members, Bearded Queen, no relation, would like to know, besides Pink, who else do you think is a bad seed on this earth? <laughs> oh, and then give us detailed ex ex uh, explanations of why. Yeah. Who's, well, like an artist? Anyone. I don't know. Oh, my God. Well, we're watching Drag Race. Let's talk about who I hate from Drag Race. <laughs> Does it does it rhyme with Mob the Drag Queen? No, I <laughs> love Bob, love Bob. 
<laughs> I did get in the conversation because you know we get asked these questions all the time wherever gigs we go in a different city the promoters and the local who do you like, hate the, working with they're like who do you hate working with I'm like, like you, you. Got it. Yeah, um, but uh, we always get in store, and I do hear a story about God. Am I really going to say this out loud? Absolutely, you're going to say it. It wasn't me. I always turn it back on them. See you. So I always, I always turn it back on them, and I'm like, well, who was horrible when you had them here? Can anybody guess who every single gig said? Ooh. Not this is good, but this is dark sided. Spill. Yeah. Because I love all of them. I, I love all of them. I, yeah, I love meeting yeah, yeah. people and being like, oh, you're this kind of person. Yeah. That's how to talk to you. <laughs> because everyone's different. Totally. But Alyssa Edwards. So I don't want to mention any names. <laughs> I don't want to mention any names. But Alyssa Edwards. And, and, wait. Who's on the new season and, and she sure, is good TV. And it should be all y'all's wait, favorites wait. that we're all like, oh my God, if they only knew. And I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure Shangela's a close second. Because... There's a few of them it's that all, are like... It's because of timing. It's timing. Oh, it's, nine, yes. nine times it's out of ten, it's not because timing. they're monsters. It's yeah, because yeah, yeah. there's like... Nine times out of ten, it's like they tell them to be ready at, this, at there seven, it is. and they're ready at nine. They're ready whenever at, they at, want when to they, be ready. Whenever they want. And then they do this. They're getting ready, and they're like, can you get me and some hairspray? Like, can you get me the... Thi- can you, right? It's too much. And then we're like, it's being rude to everyone because we're all ready to go. The fans are screaming. Let's go. And she walks in in a towel like, oh... You know, and I'm like, I kind of love it, but like, get ready. You know, like I love, and I'm like, I kind of want to slow clap. The nerve, the f- nerve to walk in that late and not give it. I'm like, f- that's so cool. So, but also let's go. In England, we had a show and Shangela and Alyssa were both there in the show. Baby, when they're together, told, it's Oh, like, it's the worst. Oh, it's the worst. But the meet and greet was before the show and it was going to be at 8 o'clock. And I told Shangela she needed to be ready at 6:30. 6 o'clock. <laughs> and she came in at 8 o'clock on time. I went to the promoter. I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> and that's how we got her to be on time in England at West Monster. Five Bar. I, Monster. I don't know oh, West remember. Five. West Five. Oh Who's at God. West Five? Yeah, that's, they're closing soon. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Shout out to West Five. But yeah. Uh, I was just in London. How was it? I played with the London Philharmonic I Orchestra. Yes. I love that. Amazing. Me and Monet. Monet, yeah. And uh, it was great. You know, I've been doing uh, classical symphony orchestras. I had to bang down the doors because it's a very conservative industry. I've been in this industry as a player my whole life. You are rewarded for fitting into a section, not standing out. And I was like, ah, I'm an ADHD. I'm like, ah, I want to just be like, yay. So I, it worked, I had to work really hard not to, you know, so it was only inevitable that I'm like, I need to be out in front of the orchestra. But but banging down their doors, you know, they had Hilary Hahn, they had Renee Fleming, and then Thorgy Thor. And all the players were like, who the f- is Thorgy Thor? So I really had to work very, very hard, but we sold thousands of tickets in seconds, and the administrators are like, whatever you're doing, it's good. Keep doing it. And thank you for putting young butts in seats. So I, 2018, I don't want to claim that I was a trailblazer, but I was like the first queen to really be like, let's rock out the f- symphony orchestra and uh then they do classical pride in london which is new and it's it's very similar for what i did and it was like inviting all of these really queer people to just dress up feel fabulous and then they sat down and played rock bonanoff beautifully and i was like this is my tribe you know this is really cool and uh anyway to London, Amazing. classical, Absolutely. and I to hope London. they have me back next and year. Yeah. Let me ask you this: uh, a lot of musicians play more than one instrument. I heard you play more than one instrument. Do you play more than one instrument? I do. What instruments do you play? Which was the your favorite? The skin flute. The what? Were you waiting? I could feel it. She's like, "You're gonna tell a stupid, corny." <laughs> and I almost said it. I was like, Dad "Skin flute." <laughs> we should have said it at the same time. That would have been good. Um, I play violin, viola, cello, piano. Which is your fave? Oh, it's different. Okay. Violin, I like playing uh, solo violin. Cello is like, uh, I used to play for a lot of uh, Broadway uh, pit orchestras, and it's a lot of dun dun boom 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 boom. Not like super difficult, but you're like the whole bass, and I love sitting there being like, I'm like in charge of all this. I'm keeping the heartbeat of the whole pit orchestra. In a string quartet, in a small ensemble, it's always the viola for me because no one ever appreciates that voice and it keeps everything 
together and nobody knows. And I sit there like, yeah, but also I study, yeah. But I study all of them. If I'm playing in a string quartet, I'll learn the violin one, two, viola, and cello part because it helps when you're playing to know everyone's parts. You are because I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is true. You are ridiculously talented. Let's go back to the show. <laughs> Very RuPaul. Very RuPaul. Back to the show. Well, RuPaul, all takes, right. RuPaul I, takes care of the piano. Oh, my goodness. I can't ask anything because I did not watch that. Um, <laughs> no, T.S. Well, asked just, them a question and they all just said what they loved about RuPaul. Yeah. That's all it was. Well, yeah, that's she, great. She went on a um, whole tangent. <laughs> what do you love about RuPaul? Love tangents. Dorji Thor, <laughs> Thor and Detox, what do you love about RuPaul? So Tall. I was just alive. Beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. <laughs> beautiful gowns. Beautiful hands. <laughs> So artistic, the way they move. Um, we were just talking about ha love pink. Sorry, I'm so. I, I walked in. Everyone's love pink. Everyone's wearing pink. I get stopped in the subway on the in the airport on the plane today. Somebody actually went like this and went love, love pink. pink. <laughs> the way that that joke is now ruined for me and everyone. I will ruin it into the ground. I love it. I am loving it. Love jokes. Love it. Love it, but it is kind of crazy. I love also, it. there's uh, happy belated birthday. You're a Gemini. You, you just turned. Was it forty? What? Was it forty? How? Twenty six. Forty. Twenty six. Twenty six. Did you see? What? You, got, you got to scream in your good ear. Wait, honey. You got to scream you, in the good do ear. You, do you remember on season, on our original season? You're like, I'm twenty six, and you're like, wait, no, I'm not. I'm actually. Oh, genuinely, <laughs> I wasn't even trying to lie. I have no idea why I said that on our season. She like said she was way younger than she really was. Yeah, I was like, I'm 29, but I think I was 31, like 32 30, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. What the was I doing? I really was like, I'm 29. You know, we have three Gemini's up here. I love that. Three. Who said poo? Who said poo? Get out. Gemini's are the best. How dare you? Are you a green? Wait, are you a Gemini Tara? too? Pisces over here. Oh, well, that we get along. Gemini's yeah. and Pisces get along I really it. well. I feel it. I'm a Leo. And, and Do we have any Leos in the house? Oh, any Leos in the house? Just one. Oh. Okay. All right. Cute. When's your birthday? I love August Leos. 17. Oh, the day after Madonna's, you yeah. old whore. I love it. <laughs> um, well, one of our VIP members, Danya in Ukraine, has a question for all of our Geminis. Y'all have also been on a, a, a season of All Stars as well, and they want to know um, if your season was announced to have duos, who from your cast would you have liked to have been partnered with? that I would have left. Are you kidding? <laughs> you said not again. On the All-Star season? Yes. Picking on the, your season. On our season. season that we were on? All-Stars. Of All-Stars. Uh, no, I would have gone. That's stupid. The, I, I remember walking, because ours was the first one after season one, and I just remember all of us were like, please no fucking change. Please no change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I go? Well, I, see, I, so, okay. Not that I'm a trailblazer of classical music. I'm also a trailblazer of what I'm about to tell a long story about. <laughs> No, short. <laughs> I can talk if you haven't noticed. I forgot to do my nails. I'm so embarrassed because I talk with my hands every five seconds. Thank you. So, and then it was on the left. It was on the right. It was up and down. And here's the story. That was very RuPaul of you, the way you were so eloquent with your hand. I don't know. We're going back there. So what was I saying? Partner on your season. Oh, yeah. So I was also a trailblazer of like the alliances. Because now alliances are it's what it's all about, right? I, the moment I got there, every person secretly, but I made sure cameras were there because I was like, we're playing Survivor now, you know what I mean? And I was like, there's the camera. Do you want to be in an alliance? <sighs> alliance, Love alliance. alliances. And everyone was like, oh, I don't know, girl, I don't know. And I really tried with every single one of those mother <laughs> only to find out later that all the girls were already in alliances. <laughs> So and they I'm had like, a group chat before they started filming. I, don't know. Was. Yeah. I was like, what? But I think I started it and then they went, oh yeah, alliances, that's a thing. Let's do that, but not with Thorgy. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Because I yes. was never part of one and then I went home for Stevie <laughs> Nick. So <laughs> why? I don't know. Because they didn't give you choreo. Because they didn't give you choreo, that's why. You know. Uh, but uh, Chi Chi. Yes. I miss I her every day. And something I don't talk about unless 
somebody knows Chi Chi, or actually, whatever, I talk a lot, I tell everyone. Um, me and Chi Chi, uh, after the show, I've been in New York my whole life, and she was from Shreveport, Louisiana. And after we were like moving around, she goes, I love San Francisco, I want to move there. And she was serious about it. And I said, I'll go, I'll be your roommate. And we were gonna, like, we were seriously thinking about it, and then she started getting sick, and, but, Anyway, give it up for Chi Chi. I love Chi Chi so Chi-Chi. much. Absolutely. I miss her. I think about her all the time. Yeah, and by the way, I was on both of my seasons with, with her. her. Yeah. And we were such good friends. I yeah. miss her. I miss her. I miss her. She was a winner to me. I told her, yeah. I said, you are going to win something. Like, you're a winner. You have yeah. winner energy. I'm a second-rate clown, and I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm not a winner of the show. She had winner energy. Yeah. She had winner energy. And so now, anyway. Nathan, really how cool. about you? Anyone from your season? Um, I love... Really smart, hilarious people. Thorgy is one of those people. I would love to do something, like to partner up with Thorgy. And Bob is just, he's just same. And it, it, it'd definitely be between Thorgy and Bob. And to be honest with you, the season I thought was going to end with Thorgy and Bob like battling it out. I really thought Me that's what too. it was going to Yeah. <laughs> On that note, let's go back to the show. <laughs> back to the app. Yay! That was great. Um, that un- can I talk uh, about something? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Can I, can wait, I wait, also wait, first just wait, preface wait, it? Wait, I'm wait. looking over. I'm not, I don't know what's on there. Were you reading but my this, notes? She was pulling out a notes. notepad from yeah. under her boot from to her write boot. down things before, that she can talk about. Oh, good talking point. Because I forget. I forget things. Wait, but before we get into those stories and all that stuff, let's okay. do oh, the... It's going to lose her. It's going to fly the, right out of those ears. Let's do the work stuff first. Uh, we want to say uh, goodbye to the front bar. And we'd like bye, front s- bar. Bye, front bar. And we want to say bye to the non-VIP members. I don't know why you're not VIP. You need to become VIP because we're going to get into a Q&A with our guests. We're going to get into the huh? gig. We're going to chit-chat, do all that good stuff. So let's give it up for our guests, starting with Miss Detox. Thanks for having me again and again and again. And keep it going for Thorgy Thor. I'm here. Love Pink. <laughs> keep that energy. Love going. VIPs. <laughs> keep yes. that energy going for Miss Kara Meltzerville. <laughs> Give it up for Batty Davis. And keep that going for Nisha Lopez. Gracias. Make sure you join VIP so you can get the whole story. Ciao. Bye. Bye.